All right, push-ups in two easy steps. One good thing about push-ups is they're a great upper body strength exercise. The other good thing about push-ups is they teach you how to brace your body for all kinds of standing, pushing, pressing overhead, and other types of activities. So, what we want to work on first of all is getting the proper bracing. So, what you're going to do is you're going to tighten your legs. I don't mean to hyperextend your knees by pressing them back. I just mean to make sure your thighs are very tight so the knee joint is completely locked. Next, we're going to squeeze the glutes as hard as we can. So really squeeze those butt muscles. You'll notice that when you squeeze them as hard as you can, your hips automatically come forward. That means now your hips are locked. So your knees are locked, your hips are locked. Next, brace your stomach like you're going to take a punch. It helps to punch yourself in the stomach. You get the idea of how to brace it. You also get the idea that you're trying to tuck your rib cage in. If you're back like this, you can see my ribs are open. Uh, my, my stomach area is open, my lower back is vulnerable. When I tuck the rib cage in, you notice my shoulders don't drop forward, I just keep the rib cage tucked in like I'm taking a punch. Head is up, nice and tall. So this is number one thing you want to practice. Tight legs, tight glutes, very tight core, and just stand and feel how your body is one piece. All right, the wall push-up. Standing against the wall, relatively close to start. We remember to lock up the knees, so tight thighs. Squeezing the glutes, tucking the ribs, put our hands on the wall. Making sure we're not putting our hands too high. You want to imagine that this is the floor right now, so you would not be doing a push-up like this. So the hands must come down to about chest height, and everything stays tight. Your shoulders come back and together, so you're also trying to hold your shoulder blades together, keeping your head back and then just do a very easy push-up. You may even notice that on this very easy version, you dive in a little bit with your hips. So you need to make sure you keep that rib cage locked up. Breathing in on the way down. Breathing out on the way up. Maintaining that tension, very, very important. Your body's all one solid piece. You get better, you stand back, adjust your hands properly. Tighten up. Now a little bit more difficult. But the important thing we're learning here is to keep that complete and full body tension. Where now it's very easy to push off. Alright, now that you've mastered the wall push up, it's time to move down to the floor. Yes, a little surprising that we're going straight to the floor, but you'll see why. So, get yourself set up exactly the same as when you were doing your push-ups against the wall. You want to have the legs straight, have the glutes tight, have the rib cage tucked in, keeping your head up, so not letting your head drop down. Then, you lower yourself to the ground and press up. You want to go to at least a 90 degree elbow bend. You must keep everything locked, your legs, your glutes, your core. If you start to sag down, stop. Don't do any more. If you get to the bottom okay, and you start to push and you start to sag down, stop. Don't do any more. Normally, you would bring yourself to your knees and continue knee push-ups. Problem being that you don't get that full body recognition that you get when you are fully planked out, like you are against the wall, or in the other few ways that will help you get down to the floor. To help yourself down to the floor, Start by lowering your hands a little with the kitchen counter. Then the kitchen table. The arm of your couch. And then finally, back to the floor. Now by this point, you should be able to, with good form, do at least one push-up. As long as you can do one, that's where it all begins. Just do one a whole bunch of times throughout the day. The key is not to fatigue yourself. It's the same thing if you're doing your push-ups on your kitchen counter, on the wall, on the kitchen table, uh, on the couch, on a couple of kitchen chairs, really on anything, even on, on uh, your stairs at home. The idea is just do the number of reps where you feel like you could do a couple more and stop before you do a couple more and just try to do that a number of times throughout the day. Three or four sets of five would be uh, a, a good start. This way you're going to be able to do more work because you're not going to be getting all tired out from doing very high repetition sets. 
one at a time will eventually become two, then three, then four, and so on and so forth. If you ever feel like you need a little bit of a technique adjustment, just raise your hands up on your couch or on your kitchen counter, reset all of the keys we talked about before, the legs, the glutes, the core, get your head back and practice your form. Then get yourself back to the ground and try a few more. Another thing I will recommend is when you are doing your push-ups off of uh, your, your counter or your couch, always try at least the first one from your hands. What that means is that eventually you get to the point where you're doing three from your hands, then two from up here, or you know four from your hands and four from up on the counter. That way uh, you'll always start in the strongest position and you'll always know that you can do it. And so concludes push-ups in two easy steps. Try it.